The devil has a strategy too. Oh yeah. And Dr. Dre and Snoop are a part of that strategy and the music that they produce. They're tuning people's hearts to death and self-destruction. You grow up your whole life where everybody's dancing to hip hop. And so when your whole 18 to 25 year, 26 years old, going to clubs mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that you have to go through metal detectors yeah. to get into because generally if there's not metal detectors, everybody's going to be so riled up in there and the music plays a part in it. And trust me, I've been to the parties with yeah. Suge Knight and these guys and all the Bloods and the Crips in there. The music gets you riled up and the next thing you know, everybody's scattering for the door because shots are being fired. That's not commonplace where they're playing. Now they may have bar fights at country music stores, <laughs> but, but in hip hop where they constantly talk about shooting each other, sure. the nightclubs that play that constantly have shooting problems to the point that you have to walk through a metal detector to get through the door. Yeah. And so the music, there's a reason why at churches y'all play gospel music. It's part of the strategy God intended to communicate his message. Trust me, the devil has a strategy too. Oh yeah. And Dr. Dre and Snoop are a part of that strategy and the music that they produce. They're tuning people's hearts to death and self-destruction. <clears throat> and it's just, it, it's really, I'm again, and I'm so down the rabbit hole on this for 30 years and have, I, I tried to this morning find, I wrote a piece with one of the New York originators of hip hop music. Mm. This was years ago. I mean, one, and I, I can't even remember the guy. He lives in Africa now. I hunted him down in Africa. And he talked about why, and he's one of the original sure. people of hip hop. He talked about why he walked away from the music. Cause it's satanic. It, this is crazy what they've done. And again, if they had put Chuck D out there at Super Bowl, because <laughs> that's where the music, and, and I'm going on too long and we're going to wrap up here, but that is what actually happened, cause, and I've written about this before. Hip hop was actually very conscious, sure. very uh, promotion of black self-respect. Uh, there used to be rappers that went to college, and hip hop was on the verge of being this very positive force. Mm -hmm. And then out of the West Coast came a group called NWA. And they did a song called F the Police. And then every other song on that deal was even far more pornographic and debaucherous than that. 